Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, my name is Cole. Today I want to talk about um, emotions and seeking. So um, I think we all go through life seeking things, whether we decide to say uh, the want comes from somewhere else, like our emotions cause us to want certain things or or we say I decide what I want completely um, off of statistics or off of you know what I think will will uh, satisfy me anyway I uh, I want to talk a moment about kind of maybe negative emotions such as anger or sadness or grief and I want to talk about how common they are so for me anyway I I'll go throughout a day and there will be plenty of moments um, of you know grief of the age-old saying I'm not good enough or um, you know, why can't it be me? Why can't I have nice things? Why why can't I be happy? Why just constant negativity and questions in my mind and worry, you know, what if I don't do well at this job? What'll happen then? You know, questions like that happen all the time. Um, one thing Dr. David Hawkins says about these questions uh, certain sequential questions such as what if I don't do good at this job well then you can ask yourself and then what so what if I don't do good at just at this job well what happens then right well I lose the job okay what happens then and I'll go broke and then what and then I won't be able to pay my rent my mortgage and then what um, I won't be able to eat and then what I'll go homeless and then what I'll freeze or I'll starve to death and I'll die and then what? You know, there's no... It all eventuates as fear of physical death, he says. Dr. David Hawkins. Anyway, it's not really my point. Uh, topic of the video is emotion and seeking. Um, so I just think we constantly, like, reflecting, right? In our heads about ourselves, basically, and why we feel the way we feel, or why this ideal which some of us have visions of i don't particularly have an ideal vision but i know i'm not there right right it's like how would i know i'm not there if i don't even know what it looks like anyway uh so we're constantly reflecting uh why do i feel this way why do i get so angry why it's all it's a lot of whys for sure or you know if you're if you're maybe wiser some would say you would ask how how do I get so angry how how does this stuff happen to me or uh stuff like that um and we're like I said we're constantly reflecting on ourselves and our emotions like oh I feel down again how could I feel down again or ourselves I'm so bad why am I so bad or even our choices I think this is less but sometimes we reflect on our choices like Oh, how could I have done that? How could I have... How could I have bet it all on black and lost $15,000? How could I have done that? And I think we're kind of beating ourselves up. And, like... It's hard to see a solution for it, but it's also, like... We're constantly reflecting on our choices... And why we feel the way we feel, uh, and and if we if we choose, you know, to bet it all on black, if we choose to to be a certain way, to be kind or to be mean, you know, whatever your choices are, you know, if we choose to eat Subway or McDonald's, why can't we choose the way we feel? Why can't we choose our emotions? Some would argue we can, but I'm trying to say like what if 
what if there's more to it than that? What if it's not necessarily your fault? You know, your choices land you where you are physically, and I understand that. But when it comes to the question of why aren't we just constantly choosing happiness, I think a bigger question would be, what is that? What is the the happiness we're all seeking? Because I'm sure that everybody is seeking a certain state, emotional state, internal state of just, ooh, I feel good. Yes, bravado. Yes, I feel so good. And I'm so glad that I feel so good all the time. And I want to feel this way all the time. We all want to feel a certain way all the time, I'm sure. But why? Why are we calling it happiness? Why are we saying that what we're looking for is happiness you know and it's not wrong it's not like we can't say i want to be happy but why do we say it "Ah, i just want to be happy why do you want to you know make a million dollars oh because then i think i'll be happy right that's our conclusion so on the one hand like i said in the beginning of this video if we're afraid we can kind of lead it into oh well i'm afraid that i'll lose my job i'll lose my house i'll lose i'll starve to death so there's the death on the one side and then maybe positively there's the happiness well why do you want this why do you want to acquire positively gain things because i want to be happy but why why are we calling it happiness it's just a word it's a label and as much as we can, maybe it's better not to label it and just go through life instead of saying, I want to be happy, just letting ourselves want what we want. And we can say, I want to be happy because I want to be happy in the end. But I just think it's, a, it's important to question what that is because when will you, how will you know when you're happy? It's easy to be happy and not know about it until later on when you're not happy. <laughs> um, anyway. Yes. Um, like, I can I can remember my hap some of my happiest moments are when I was working a job. I was super stressed out. I was in a call center, right? I was working at a call center, and uh, calls would come in one after the other without fail for, you know, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, and 10 hours a day, and uh, I was overwhelmed, I was not good at the job, I just want to say that, and in the midst of all this stress, and when I did take a few seconds between a call to like sort of catch up with myself and be like, wow, this is not going well, <laughs> um, I would... I would sort of just say like, oh, it's all, I don't want to say what caused these feelings because I don't know, but that's when I would feel happy, when I'd feel this energetic, like, oh, oh, I feel good all of a sudden. Why do I feel good all of a sudden? So maybe it's not our possessions. Maybe it's not the things we do that make us happy. Uh, and that's that's old wisdom for sure you know and being happy is not an external job it's an internal job it's not what you have it's what uh, or what you can acquire but it's what you are grateful for anyway i I'm, I'm not necessarily buying into all that but i'm just trying to make a point about happiness um and that's really all i have um but if you're not feeling happy or if you're feeling down my I'm just kind of getting to the point of like, you don't have to be happy all the time. And it's hard to see, and maybe this video helps, but it's hard to see when you're not happy that you, that you don't want to be happy because you're angry at yourself or depressed or whatever. And it's just like, well, I can't, I just be happy. I mean, what's, you know, what's wrong with me or whatever. And, uh, it's, I don't think it's your fault if you're not happy uh so that's pretty much it <laughs> again my name is cole um 
please like and comment and subscribe. And uh, that's all I got for you. Talk to you soon. Bye.